by T. It's all coming out of the uh, check of the employee. So if we build this journal entry then, what we're doing in essence is we're just saying, hey, these are the things we owe. We're going to make payment for them. Note that if we made payment in practice, we would probably have to group the payment in terms of federal taxes and state taxes. Probably uh, we're going to group then the OASDI and the Social Security or the HI, meaning the Social Security and Medicare would both be going to the to the Fed, which we may group in one payment. We, we may have a separate payment for FUTA and a separate payment for SUTA because it's going to the state. Um, and so just note that the, the groupings of the payments as, as to uh, how we're going to write the checks and the groupings of the payment could differ. But the point is that after we have these liabilities, we will be making the payment in the future. We're going to record the, the, the journal entry re related to making the payment, which will be similar to any type of payable account, such as the accounts payable, meaning uh, the liability goes up and now we're paying it and the liability goes down as well as cash goes down. So to, to create this, we're just going to say, okay, we had 215, uh, account 215 for OESDI, credit of 6,061.10. We need to make it go down to zero because we're going to pay it off. So we're going to debit it, do the opposite thing to it, 6,061.10. Same thing for HI. We have, uh, and then if we post that as we go, apparently, we're going to post that as we go, it goes down to zero. That's what we want to happen. So we're going to make all these go down to zero. Then the HI and the Medicare, same thing. We're going to say it has a credit here. We're going to debit it, doing the opposite thing to it. And if we post